So the decision has been finally made in regards to Omari Hutchinson and it was not been made by the Jamaica Football Federation and it's not a decision that was made by a YouTuber on YouTube talking in MG Sports. No. The decision has been made by the player himself in which country he wants to represent. So welcome back, people, to MG Sports TV. Thank you very much again for tuning in. I really, really appreciate the support. Um, we're going to touch on a story here um, regarding to a youngster, young reggae boy, no, different, decided that no, that's not the part that he wanted to take. And one, I, one, I can't slate him for his decision, um, but it's something that I saw um, in the scope. For a long time now, I saw it. I, I saw what's happening. Sometimes they say a, a person's action tell you a lot more than what they say. Um, so it's not something to celebrate about because I do believe that he's a quality player and I do believe that we lost out on a, it's a, a serious quality, quality player. Um, it's no fault of ours. Um, it's no fault that we are, we aren't at the standard uh, of England. We don't have those level of resources. We do, and so also we, he wasn't born here in Jamaica. So there's many, many factors which have led to him making that decision in which will be highlighted in the article now this article is 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 um published by the athletic says so not mg sports i uh, read from a little old tabloid or no 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 sense or not this is the athletic um the new york times athletic um so most of you guys who know um are a part of the football world know how credible the athletic is 90 percent of the time well maybe 99 percent of the time they are spot on the money with their articles are there um, reporting now before i get into the article people i would really appreciate it if you hit the like button and hit the subscribe button before we do anything um if you don't no problem at all we do you will still find persons coming in the comment section though um slating me zeno saying i'm xenophobic and all these type of things because that's natural say so i don't want um, um these players in this and i do believe that most persons misunderstand um my role in 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 this space but most definitely these are the quality players that we need in the team. It's just unfortunately that to get these quality players, we have barriers, barriers such as birth of, um, a place of birth for these players. Um, and the, the, the setup, our setup is far, 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 far different from the English, English, English setup. And also the importance of playing for England to these players, what it does for them and their club career. And... I think a lot of persons look over that. It's not just saying just go and convince them. You can't just go and con once you can't just you can't throw money at these at these players because they are already millionaires. So money won't convince them. Secondly, if you're going to tell them about a particular project and what you're trying to do, even if you tell them that you they will be a part, a big big part of the future, a big big part of the plans going forward, that does not necessarily carry any water because of their main goal. And their main goal is is playing in world cup with the england team which is five five by far superior than playing world cup for jamaica it doesn't matter what we feel about the situation yes we are supporters but it doesn't matter how we feel it's what these players think that they want to do and that's the reason why we see a situation like this i'm not saying that we won't be able to convince any of them but we have to understand that England will always be these players' first choice. It doesn't matter what we say, think, or want to think about the situation. No, it's imperative though that we try our best to see if we can strategically approach some of these players um, in, in, in a manner in which we can convince them from early out, maybe from a younger age, uh, or, or, maybe, or, or maybe just as players getting um, in their prime and still not getting a look in try and target those players you know soften those type of players that um just not just being uh, just a bit fe feeling frustrated not getting a look in it's just i think that's that that's a route in which we're gonna have to go in trying to um getting these players um these quality players in but 
it's a difficult one for us, especially when they're in their prime, playing in the English Premier League, in the first, top division in the league. If they're doing so well, I would have seen that with the likes of Mason, uh, um, um, uh, what's his name? And, brrr, not Mason, um, Cole Palmer. Not, not just Cole Palmer. I think Jack Grealish, all of these type of players who were coming from um, certain teams. Well, Cole Palmer was coming from um, Man City, but when he went to Chelsea, he had a stellar season right into the setup. Um, Jack Grealish was at Aston Villa, stellar season, moved to Man City. Um, national. I think he got to call up even at Aston Villa as well. But once you have a stellar season, even if you're at the lowest club, the smallest club in England, once you have a stellar season, you have an opportunity. And me and that, and the, the, the players are now banking on that because of how um, the dynamics have shifted up in player selection for the national setup. All right, let me get into the article. I've been here talking for so long. I still haven't touched into the article as it. Omar Hutchinson up to, ups to battle for a place in England squad over Jamaican call up. Nobody could accuse Omar Hutchinson of rushing decision of where to focus his international ambitions. Over the past 12 months or so, they have been meeting at various intervals with Jamaica, asking him to fully commit to them. See, understand that, people. Various intervals with Jamaica, asking him to fully commit to them. While people close to England's under-20 camps have been trying to persuade him to return to the England fold. One of those was former Jamaica international Michael Johnson, Ooh. One of those was former Jamaica international Mike um, Mikael Johnson, who is now part of the England under 21 staff. What? Sell me out. <laughs> uh, sell me out. Uh, Johnson, sell me out. Jeez. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> look how they are trying to get the ball, man. Fi. Better with you, man. Johnson, uh, sell out. Uh, boy, I may tell you. Hutchinson heard his first official star. Um, seen a cap with Jamaica in two different friendlies against Trinidad and Tobago last year. However, he had previously represented England at under-17 and under-19 level. His fine form on loan at Ipswich Town during the 2023-2024 season, where he scored 10 championship goals and made six assists to help them earn promotion to the Premier League. Intensified the battle for, for his services. It has not been easy. It's not, it has not been an easy choice. Hutchinson genuinely enjoyed playing for Jamaica. On a family holiday there over the summer, locals made it clear how appreciated he would be if he played for their national side. And there is a much greater chance of being picked for Jamaica than England due to the vast difference in the talent pool. Now, but Hutchinson, who became Ipswich record signing when he joined permanently from Chelsea for 20 million, 26 million um, um, US, 20 million pound, plus 2.5 million pound add-on in June, has chosen England because he had a genuine chance of competing for major silverware. The huge investment in the game means England facilities are of the highest level and the environment offers, offers a great opportunity to improve. Hutchinson, 20, is fully aware of how many good players England have to choose from in the attacking midfield position, but wants to give it a shot. He's not afraid of setting himself big targets as he told the Athletic last year. One of his aim is to win the Champions League. Hutchinson only, only made up his mind on the issue over the summer. In March, he turned down call-ups from both associations because he wanted to concentrate on helping Ipswich win promotion from the championship. And being appointed as Jamaica's new head coach in, um, in late J July, Steve McLaren reached out to Hutchinson to try to convince him, but to no avail. McLaren made it clear he respected the decision. It helps that Hutchinson already knows many of the England's U21 players. He was called up to the first for the first no called for the first time last month and traveled to the camp despite having a minor injury that meant he had to withdraw after a few days. But the trip reassured Hutchinson he was making the right choice. He gave him the chance to see some familiar faces and uh, have a positive conversation with interim head coach Ben Futcher. The latter was given the role after Lee Carsley was named interim head coach of the senior team in August. Carsley, who has had great chances securing the main job more permanently, rates Hutchinson highly. There are no guarantees over what happens next, but the fact that England have made such a concerted effort in um, is a compliment to Hutchinson's ability itself. So, as I said, people, that is coming from you know, the athletic, not me. I didn't write it. None at all. 
But at the end of the day, he has made his decision that no, it is England. I respect his decision, so be it. So all of the persons that will consistently that disrespect me over the time period, I beg you to please stop me. You must can't stop. You need to come in the comment section again and go disrespect me under this video when it's all clear. It's clear the player made his decision a long time ago. The player made his decision a long time ago. So no, there's no need to disrespect me on this matter anymore. I told you guys, but apparently didn't understand. Anyways, people, it's, disapp it's really disappointing. It's really dis disappointing. In, I view it that way. Anyways, people, big up on yourself. Smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again. Until next time, tell us what you think in the comment section. MG Sports Eve wrote, God bless. Possibly the last video this, and if make enough, make no more in Omer. Last video, done. Think him half fight, half fight now. Big up on yourself, people. MG Sports TV wrote, God bless.